final chapter in our expression language. This chapter, we are going to see how to evaluate multiple attributes using NIFI expression language. Uh, like I said in the previous tutorial, if you don't have this repo yet, feel free to go and clone it. So I already uploaded my templates in the instance, and we're going to drag a template on the board, evaluating multiple. Add, and let's see what's happening. So as before, like I mentioned, we have a generate flow file where we instantiate a couple of attributes. So we have a attribute, some value, b attribute, some b value. We have my list, which is a ESV separate list. Num one two three, some one two three value. ZZXX, some ZZXX value. So let's see how we're going to use. So before I start to explain what the functions do, let me explain what evaluating multiple attributes means in uh, NIFI. So when it comes to evaluate conditions against multiple attributes, this can be quite difficult by using, let's say, different type of functions where you have to individually check each attribute. So that's why our NIFI provides similar functions for evaluating the same conditions against a group of attributes at the same time. So that makes multiple attributes function evaluation very powerful. Let's go and start with our first thought. Now we have any attribute. Basically, the any attribute uh, function checks to see if any of the given attributes match the given condition. So if you see here, we're checking against these two attributes. Basically, the way you declare the attribute, it's, it's in this form. It's a comma separated embedded list. And we're trying to see if there is any B letter. If any of them contain uh, B, and we'll return a true. Otherwise, we'll return a false. So this any attribute uh, has some arguments and the arguments in this case are going to be the incoming attributes and uh, it returns a boolean type true or false so let's go to the next one all delineated values so let's put it like this you remember we had that my list so so in this case um, this all delineate values uh, splits it will Think about it, a Python split. You know, when you have a string, string and then you want to uh, split it and create a list. Basically, you choose the delimit, the delimiter, and you will create a list of it. So right now, we're doing the other way around. Splits a string apart according to a delimiter that is provided. So in this case, this is our delimiter. And then evaluate each of this value against the rest of the expression. If the expression, when evaluated against any of the individual values, return true, this function returns true. Otherwise, the function returns false. So if you see right now, we're not evaluating anything. We're just counting the number of items in this particular list or this particular string that seems like a list. And the output is going to be of type Boolean. But in my case, it's going to be of type uh, it's going to return me an int. Now let's move to the other one, all matching attributes. So what we're going to do here, all the attributes, uh, also and this um, um, function receives a regex uh, expression. So the regex expression in this case, everything that starts a underscore, um, it will be counted. So he will look inside all the attributes that comes from my flow file. And he will count the number of attributes that starts with letter A and underscore. Next, we have all attributes. So, as a matter of fact, this should be attribute. All attributes. So, this one receives um, attributes names. In this case, a list. One or more attributes to evaluate. Similar to any attribute, this one also will evaluate it against uh, another function. And he will return true or false. So basically, uh, checks to see if all of the given attributes match the given condition. So let's say B does not exist in B attribute, then this will return a false. But if B exists in both of the attributes, then it will return a value of true. Cool. Now let's move to join. So in this example, join is pretty straightforward. He will pretty much take the value of this attribute and he will join it against the 
next attribute uh, we can have two or multiple attributes here and he will join it with chosen string this particular uh, join aggregate function that pretty much concatenates multiple values with a specific delimiter may be only used in conjunction with all attributes or all matching attributes now let's talk about any matching attributes this any matching attribute uh, function the any matching attribute functions check to see if any of the given attributes match the given condition uh, it, it receives a regex expression as you guys can see it here that will be evaluated against the next function so basically we're checking does any of my incoming attributes it's null and this one will return a true or false cool now that we went through all of them let's apply and let's allow the flow to run so we're going to run this one so we're going to create those attributes we're going to run the functions and then like in the previous tutorial we use attributes json to expose all of the flow of all content all right so let's see the outcome of this you're going to go to the list and choose view content let's format it and these are the outcomes you see the join give us the right result all attributes returned false, which is correct. All matching attributes returned one based on the uh, all matching attributes. Any delimited values returned true uh, based on the condition we put any attributes returned true and the all delineated values returned true. As you remember, in that list, we had three items. All right, so this is a wrap for our uh, evaluating multiple attributes in uh, expression language FI. So just to recap what we did in this series, we touched on the introduction in expression language. Then we went and we saw how we can do data conversion with expression language. And followed by that, we talked about subjectless functions, functions that they don't require uh, a, an input. So they, they will give you always the same return without an input. Expression language, Boolean logical operators. We touched about mathematical operators. We saw how string manipulation happens in expression language, expression language string search, where we can look through different type of payloads using string search or other criteria. We saw how we can encode and decode. And uh, I think the most important one, how we can do JSON search. Finally, we looked at how we can evaluate multiple attributes and it's very useful, which we just wrapped up. Okay, cool. So I hope you guys enjoy this. See you in the next tutorial.